What is up my YouTube friends? I hope you're doing well today. When you live stream, as your audience grows, you will be approached by companies that want to reach your audience. Sponsorship deals can make live streaming much more profitable over the long term. And they're a great way to monetize your live stream. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a rotating banner using images or videos. You can work into your overlay that can feature multiple sponsors. Oh, and by the way, we're gonna be using totally free software. So let's get to it. <laughs> My analytics say that 80% of the folks who watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. Sponsorships are probably the best way to create a stable income as a live streamer. Sure, you can get YouTube AdSense, super chats, donations, and even memberships, which are awesome. But actual amounts of these forms of revenue can vary wildly from month to month, and they're really difficult to predict. It's hard to pay your bills if you don't know how much is gonna come in every month. Once your audience starts to grow, you're gonna be approached by companies interested in sponsoring you because they wanna reach your audience. Now, this video isn't about how to decide who you wanna work with or how to negotiate a sponsorship deal or even how much to charge. I can certainly do a video on those subjects if it's something you want to see me do. So let me know in the comments. This video is going to show you an easy way to make your sponsors visible during your live stream and it's a cool rolling sponsor space that looks professional and doesn't detract from what's going on on your live stream it's totally free and easy to create so let's jump in so here we are in davinci resolve and of course you can check the links in the description to download it yourself it's totally free and we're just going to create a new project and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to file and we're going to go to project settings and we're just going to make sure that this matches with our live stream. I live stream at 30 frames per second and 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to set it up like that. You may live stream at a different frame rate. So you can set it up any way you want. And really it doesn't actually need to be 1920 by 1080. But for this purposes of this video, we're going to set it up that way. Now I'm just going to go and drag in all my assets. In this case, I do a rolling scroll of a bunch of channels that I really like some of my friends. And I like to advertise those channels on my live stream. And of course, course I have a spinning animation of my logo tossed in there for good measure and so we're just going to drag these down onto our timeline here in the edit mode and then what I'm going to do is I want to make each of these you know last 10 seconds we don't want it rotating too fast we want to make sure that it is on the screen for a little bit of time because let's face it we don't really want to draw the viewers eye away from what we're doing that long on our live stream so I'm just going to drag this clip in I'm going to drag it out to the 10 second mark and so that means that this thumbnail will be on there for 10 seconds and then I'll drag the next one in and I'm just going to go ahead and stretch this one out to that 10 second mark and I'm going to do that for every one of these clips except for the video and of course the video is as long as the video is I'm not really worried about it but we're going to stick that in there you can see it's just my logo spinning around nifty little 3d thing so you can do this with images or any sort of thing you can mix video and images in there. You can have spinning logos. Whatever asset you decide to use, you can definitely use for this banner. I'm just gonna finish dragging the rest of these in here and stretching them out to that 10 second mark. And there we go. So now we have all of our clips inside of DaVinci Resolve. You could see it's not terribly interesting. If I click play, it just switches from one to the other. That's freaking lame. We don't want that. So we're gonna go up here to the effects library. And you can see we've got all of these cool video transitions. And guess what? These are also free. So we can set these up and do all kinds of really, really, really cool stuff. We're just gonna use the simple ones. We're not gonna go into Fusion. You can set up some super mega complicated ones if you wanted to, or you can even create your own. But let me drag one in here so you can see what it looks like. And this one is just a simple cross dissolve. And if I just click play, you can see it dissolves from one to the next. And that's fine. It's kind of lame. 
If I select it, then I can just stretch it out if I want. I can change the length of it and all that kind of stuff. Let's zoom in here a little bit and I can just pull on the edges. It will stretch it out so I can make that transition longer if I want to. And it also has a panel up here on the top right so I can change the way that the transition happens. And that's of course the same on any of the transitions that I choose, but I'm just gonna select it and delete it. We're gonna get a more interesting transition here. And let's start with the push transition. So I just drag it down here, put it in between the two clips. And now when I click play, you can see one clip pushes the other one out of the way. And this kind of gives it a cool 3D effect, which I really like. It kind of seems like a rotating cube, which I think is fun. And all I'm really gonna do is go ahead and select different transitions and put them in between each of these images. And then we've got a clock one. And we'll put the radio wipe right in here and boom pretty simple pretty easy now this next one goes from a still image to a video clip and you'll notice it kind of interacts a little bit differently when i stick it on there it doesn't go over the seam it just goes onto my video clip and there's no way to stretch it out or do anything like that and you would think oh man this isn't going to work well you would be wrong if i click play it still transitions just like it's supposed to it's just kind of set up a little bit differently and that's just because we're going from a still image to a video and we're going to use this edge wipe on the outgoing clip and if we click play and there we go we can see it goes from top to bottom but i'm going to just click on it and we'll go over here and what we could do is change the angle on it so it goes diagonally instead of straight up and down which is just a little bit more diversity i think it's kind of cool you could change up you can use one transition in a bunch of different ways and I'm just going to continue to fill in the remainder of these transitions. We we'll use this split right here for the next one. And you can change the angle on that as well. And we'll use this heart transition for this final one all the way down here. And we'll click play. And there we go. So now we've got transitions in between each of our thumbnails. All that's left to do is export. So we're gonna go down here and click this rocket button. And this brings us into our render settings. Now in my render, my logo is supposed to have a transparent background. So I wanna be able to see through that if I can set it up properly. So we're gonna go up here to the top left. I'm gonna change the file name so I know what it's gonna be saved as on our hard drive. And I'm gonna to browse to the location where we're gonna save this file. And then for format, if I'm doing anything with the alpha in it, which I am, I'm gonna go down here and select the codec uncompressed and then B G R A 8 bit. And I'm gonna go down here and export as alpha. And I just wanna make sure my frame rate and my resolution are proper. But if you do not have any alpha in yours, you don't need to export like this. So you could just go in here and select MP4 and H.264 if you want an MP4 format, or you can have it set to QuickTime and H.264 or any other format that you like to use. It's perfectly fine. Generally speaking, any of the 264 formats is gonna be what you're looking for. I just don't use it because I am going and rendering out an alpha in this. Let me fix our file name title here. And then all we need to do is add it to the render queue and then click render all. And in a few moments, it goes through the video and renders out our promo video. Kindness is something that makes the world a better place. I think so. What do you think? Now you can exercise kindness to your fellow YouTuber by clicking that thumbs up button right down there. Just this simple act of kindness helps others find this video, which really helps me out. And it makes my cat Dusty super happy too. Thanks. Now this can create a pretty big file. We wanna use small files. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-encode this. We're gonna go into Shutter Encoder. There's a link in the description down below so you can check it out. It's totally free. We're gonna click the browse button and we're gonna to go to the location of the promo file we just created. We're gonna click open and we're gonna choose our function. In this case, we're gonna use the VP9. It's a WebM file, it creates a very small file. And that's all you need to do if you are not 
having an alpha, I would go up here and click max quality and then I would go ahead and start it, but I'm using the alpha. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the enable alpha channel here and then I'm gonna start the function. And this could take a little bit of time depending upon how many advertisements you put in there or how long your video is. Obviously you're gonna set this up for your personal taste, but this is gonna create a really nice small file that's really easy for OBS to use. So it's not gonna stress your machine a whole lot. You can see here my original one is a huge 19 gig file. After that it's 47 megabytes, really tiny. So now I'm gonna go in into OBS and I'm gonna add a media source here. We'll add my overlay and I recommend using something like this with an overlay and I'm gonna browse to the location of my overlay. And of course my overlay is WebM file as well. And there we go. So now we have an overlay in here. I'm going to go ahead and add in a camera. I'm pretty sure you know how to add in a camera at this point, but if not, pretty simple. I just select the camera, I go to custom, I select my resolution, and I go down here and use a custom audio device so I can select the audio from the camera that I'm using. I click OK, check my audio. I'm all set and ready to go. I'm just gonna move that below my overlay and resize it. And there we go. So now we've got video in there. All we have to do is add our little banner here. So I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to media source. I'm gonna call this one promo and click okay. Click browse and I wanna select my promo WebM and click open. I wanna loop this so it runs over and over again. Click okay. And you're gonna see this is like full screen which is not really what we want. We're gonna shrink this down to the actual size that we're looking for. We're gonna just stick it up here. And now we have a constant promotional, rotational video going. And right below that on the right hand side, usually I would put the chat so that we could see the chat on the screen and all that kind of stuff. And this is a really simple and easy way to create a promotional scroll that allows you to make a little bit of money, occasionally talk about your sponsors when they pop up on your scroll, and it's not too distracting for the viewer, which is really awesome. You can see for some reason my logo didn't actually come out with that transparency. Not sure why, but it is what it is. It probably is from the actual source that's not transparent, but it's hard to say. If you wanna see how you can create an animated overlay for your live stream using totally free tools, well, there's a bunch here, so you should check this playlist out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.